Hello everybody, me here, and today I'll be reviewing this new Coldplay album, Music of the Spheres. It's really, mm -hmm. I think Coldplay runs into this consistent issue of trying to evolve, which is not a bad thing, however they just don't know where to go. I think Coldplay would be far better off if they just sort of take baby steps towards evolution rather than do these great big huge leaps of evolution uh like they did with this record um not to say that all of it was bad there are some songs i do truly like on here higher power has some amazing synths some amazing drums while um chris does sound bored it only amplifies the final chorus when he actually feels like he's trying to say something People of the Pride is the best song on here. Uh, it has an amazing chorus and the fucking instrumental. It's just so goddamn good. You need to listen to it. And hell, even the BTS song is pretty good. It's some nice synth pop and I really enjoy it. Like, not to say that this album is all bad, but it's kind of teetering. Let me start with the emoji songs. These are stupid, all of them. Every one of them is bad. Planet Emoji is just an intro, it's a glorified intro. Star Emoji is a glorified um, interlude. Heart Emoji with We Are Kings and Jacob Collier is uh, their vocals as the instrumental, and it's bad. Um, and, and the Infinity, em or sorry, the Earth Emoji is literally just cheering, and the Infinity Sign is chanting with a decent beat. Uh, I do not like these. They bog down the album for no reason whatsoever. Uh, however, I do have to give it to Chris Martin for finding new ways to sound bad with be, 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 be Beautiful. It's a hip hop beat. <laughs> Bet you didn't think Coldplay would be doing that. And with these terrible falsetto vocals that are obviously programmed, but they're just bad quite frankly. Uh, on Humankind, we get these weird robot vocals ag again, uh, except with Humankind, there's actually a decent set of keys, and when Chris Martin is singing, it's nice. It feels earned, I guess. Like, we went all through this garbage just so we could hear this. I don't know. Uh, I will say the worst song on this album is uh, Let Somebody Go with Selena Gomez. It's what I like to call sad boy, sad boy hours. It's a piano ballad, it's so annoying, but there's the explosion at the end that just feels unearned. Uh, uh, color, uh, color, uh, color uh, is also not very good. It's a 10 minutes and it has no right being as long as that. Uh, there's some gentle keys to kick us off, some nice vocals. Um, there's a xylophone for some reason, there's chimes for some reason, and the strings are just bad. I hate them so much. I legitimately hate myself when listening to that song. Like, it could be a good song had they just chopped down the runtime a bit, taken away a couple of aspects that didn't really need to be there, and boom, you got a decent song on your hands. However, that's not what they did. So, yeah. I mean, there's really not much to say about this album. Chris Martin and and Co. decided to try to make an album of synth pop, which is fine. However, it didn't work. It's this big swing at something no one was throwing for. They just sort of thought, hmm, this is what the people want, when no one asked for it. Hell, I would have been fine if Coldplay just disappeared off the face of the earth. I mean, <laughs> their last album wasn't very good, and neither was the album before that. Their last good album, in my opinion, is Viva La Vida, or, and Death to All His Friends, um, which was this beautiful yet haunting album. And this just doesn't feel like Coldplay. This feels like a front that Chris Martin and co are just putting on. The yes, 
the guests most of the time don't actually help the experiment experience they're just sort of there there's random interludes for no reason just to i guess add runtime and bog it down at the same time and i mean it's just not worth it i think this could have been a very solid ep at the very least this could have been a very good ep However, that's not what this was released as. It was a released as a 12-song album. And because of that, I'm gonna have to give this what I'm feeling. And what I'm feeling is a strong 2 to a light 3. Um, thank you for watching. Have an amazing day, night, evening, morning. Whatever. Whenever you're watching this, just make it good. Um, don't listen to this Coldplay album. But if you are gonna listen to a song or two just listen to people of the pride that's probably the best one so have a good day peace